Okay, this is another project that I've been working on. Well, I've been working on it when it gets cold. Uh, so anyway, what it is, this is a garage door motor. I found the unit that it came in uh, next to a garbage can. The person just thought they'd leave it there and naturally it would make its way to the dump. But I saw it and I thought I'd... Uh, Grab it, take it home, take it apart to see if there's any interesting parts in it for my wind turbine. Here's the uh, here's the casing. Uh, well, it, the casing's all I pounded it flat. I'm gonna use that as my rudder for my uh, wind turbine made from recycled parts. It's a chamber lane uh, garage door opener. Now, if you're not familiar with the garage opener, it's that little box that hangs above your car in the garage hanging, coming from the ceiling and there's a chain that runs from it to the garage door and then when you come in you push on the little remote, your garage door goes up. Uh, I had no idea what kind of motor was in it, but anyway, I'm looking at the label here. It says it's by the Chamberlain uh, Motor, uh, Chamberlain Group. Uh, it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, 4.5 amps. Uh, enter, enter, what's it? Enter, it's um, not continuous duty, but it, enter, oh, my brain's not working. Anyway, so I thought I'd take it apart. And uh, so there was three of these bolts. Uh, they have, the head is 5 sixteenths. The nut on the end is a 3 8. There was three bolts in here. Could be either one, I can't remember. And uh, so I'm going to take this part. Pulling it apart, care for the wires. Oh, I thought I'd quickly mention uh, the neat thing about this project. See, there's three wires coming out. It's it's AC. So what you would do is get a heavy-duty extension cable cord, and you would attach it to these AC uh, th these three wires. You'd run it all the way down your turbine tower, you know, 30, 50 feet, whatever, and then you'd run it to a rectifier, and a rectifier changes the AC. I'm thinking it's three-phase AC to um, DC, which is what your batteries run off of. So you would put this unit close to your battery box. And then, in this case, this, there's the positive, and the negative was was the housing that this wind, this is from a wind turbine. This is from uh, the wind turbine in the back here, rectifier. So that's what you do. The advantage of that is, uh, DC wires are have to be really big and thick and six gauge and it costs quite a bit of money per foot so why not run four feet of that to your um, battery box versus running 50 60 feet I mean that really adds up in cost there we go. okay there so it's this part is off so we'll just put that back here now what you can see inside is this let's see put magnets here 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 and here you can actually see the stack of magnets so I cut this with a hole saw a two inch hole saw and cut a half inch for a hole for the shaft and let me take it from the housing Okay, so I'm just going to put this so, anyway. so here it is. You can see what I did. So I cut it with a hole saw, cut it out of a piece of wood, marked my four edges, and then I put that on my drill press, drilled down to almost close to the shaft, not all the way, but all the way down. Oh, well, you know, far enough. And then I took my magnets, which are half inch by, I don't know, it looks like three eighths, 
I'm not very good with my eights, but anyway. And then I took four of them and stacked them. So the configuration is this be north, this be south, north, and south. Has to be alternating. You could do six if you wanted to, but north, south, north, south, north, south, that kind of thing. So that's what you need to do. And then you get some epoxy, like a from your hardware store. It's a two-part epoxy. Um, I just got this because I'm I'm not going to be using a lot of it. And you coat your homemade stator with it, just to make it a little bit waterproof, and also it keeps the magnets from flying out when they're in your um, where your uh, where your windings are. Now this, there's not really these aren't proper bearings in here. For this to spin around so there is a little bit of play and plus the stator the homemade stator here it's not supposed to be coming off like that so what I might do is put a locking collar on here maybe one on the other side pinch it maybe run a bolt through or something just to keep this because it was you can see it can spin and also you can see it's not exactly See? It's not exactly lined up. I mean, this was just a fun project, but maybe if I grabbed a thicker piece of wood or use some other material, uh, I've seen them made by uh, with metal or steel or, or aluminum. Um, if you look up uh, Green Power Science um, YouTube channel, uh, Dan, Rojas makes one like this out of fan motor and he actually cut I think like a like an octagon or a hexagon uh, I guess it'd be octagon and then he put his magnets in there which is kind of a better idea but this was just something I wanted to play around with now I had this one idea just put this off to the side or stator is a hockey puck now hockey puck is one of those items that most people have somewhere in their house, especially if you're a Canadian and you got it somewhere in your shop. I actually uh, use these. I put them under my cabinet that goes over the washer dryer. So if there's a flood, uh, the water hits the hockey puck. I'm not getting on topic here. Um, I thought I could use this as a stator because you see it fits pretty pretty snug in there. It, it, I mean, there's still room, there's still a little bit of play. I'd have to be bang on and when I'm making my, drilling my holes and stuff. But you could put your magnets, like, flush with the top instead of, the, in this case, popping out. Plus, with maybe the bigger circumference, you could go with eight magnets around it. So, this wasn't my first try. This is probably my second or third try. Uh, the previous tries of wood split, but you never know. So anyway, what I'll do is maybe I'll try making a stator out of a hockey puck. Uh, I know it's not the proper thing, but just for my messing around, um, you never know. So anyway, hopefully that'll come in another video. Thanks a lot for watching.